This episode is brought to you by Shopify. Forget the frustration of picking commerce platforms when you switch your business to Shopify, the global commerce platform that supercharges your selling wherever you sell. With Shopify, you'll harness the same intuitive features, trusted apps, and powerful analytics used by the world's leading brands. Sign up today for your $1 per month trial period at shopify.com slash tech, all lowercase. That's shopify.com slash tech. You have arrived. Welcome to the Aspie World. Here's where we talk about anything and everything ASD in an upbeat and informative way. And now, Here's your man on the spectrum, your autism ambassador, Daniel Morgan Jones. So here are five coping strategies for overcoming sensory overload. Let's get into it right now. Guys, welcome back to the Aspie World. My name is Dan and I have autism and ADHD. I make videos all about this stuff to help you every single week. So if you want to learn more, come on the journey with me and get some help from me. Make sure to hit the subscribe button by clicking the notification bell down below to subscribe to this channel now to help miss out on a video, but also it helps me out a ton. So we both win. Hey, also, do you want a free autism life hacks PDF book? You can download mine right now at autismhacks.net completely free. Okay, guys. So autism sensory overloads right this is something that impacts so many people in the autism spectrum it's redonkulous so i wanted to take this moment in this video to give you five practical things that you can do to actually overcome and help reduce sensory stimulation overloads because those things are probably one of the most debilitating things in the life of an autistic person so that you get every single thing that you need asap so the first thing i'm going to talk about is practicing mindfulness Mindfulness teaches like a deeper breathing exercise and uh, meditation, which is kind of like a visualization. But basically, you know, if you're washing the dishes or washing your hands, you kind of think about the fact that you're washing your hands. If you catch a moment to go, hey, I should be doing mindfulness, you say, how am I in this moment in time? Where are my feet? The place on the floor? What does the room feel like? What does it smell like? What's the temperature of the room? What is, you know, the, the sense of my hands kind of, uh, you know, rubbing against each other? What is that like? All this is mindfulness and definitely helps give your mind a little bit of a sensory break when you're doing those things, which helps you kind of implement small practices of how to overcome sensory overload when it happens. Because what happens with sensory overload is that your mind is going, going, and going, and it topples over. If you can implement small pieces of like memory breaks in your head, in your mind, so that when you are going through daily life, you're less likely to get triggered as often if you're used to having small little mental breaks, which is why mindfulness is awesome. Okay, so number two is using sensory aids like noise cancelling headphones. I use these Bose noise cancelling headphones every single day. I'm using them right now. I'm about to jump on a call and do a consultation. And all of these little kind of like noise sensory gadgets are amazing. You can get in ear, Apple um, AirPods, and all kinds of different types of stuff. What this does is it helps reduce the amount of noise coming into your ears, but not the quality because you can still hear if you really want to. It just reduces a lot of the noise. But you can also turn on the uh, complete silence mode, which it basically sucks in like a piece of silence and it just plays it through like the earpieces i'm not entirely sure of the technicalities of how it works but it's absolutely amazing and noise cancelling headphones are just like Mwah. you can also use things like sunglasses hoodies and stuff to kind of block out light from kind of coming in too close or if you're too cold you put a hoodie on and, and stay warm but i use sunglasses and uh, noise cancelling headphones as like a that's like a must for me like that definitely happens every single day and i love it okay so developing routines now developing routines with an individual such processing issues can be more more of a, a way of controlling your environment. So a routine would be that you know that when you come into a room, you want the lighting to be a certain way. You want the heating to be a certain heat. Because what happens a lot of times is we go to places where we have no control over that environment and that environment then ends up triggering us and giving us sensory overload. And sensory overload isn't just like light, sounds and smell. It's also the feel, like how many people are in that room? How much space have you got between you and another person? What are your clothing feel like? What is the temperature in that room like? So when you go to somewhere, try to control that environment and get into a routine where you know, hey, every time I go on the subway or the metro or whatever, uh, I have to sit next to the door so I get a bit of fresh air every time the door opens on my way home from work or whatever. Make sure you get yourself into a routine where you are controlling as much as you can of the environment that you're in. This is going to pay off in dividends, I promise you. Guys, I just want to give a shout out to today's sponsor, Brillia. Now, Brillia is a homeopathic non prescription medication for adults and children actually it's homeopathic which means there's no nasties in it it's non-addictive and it's nothing that's going to be full of nasties and, and horrible chemicals it's actually dead uh, it's more natural than anything else i've probably ever taken in my life so 
But the cool thing about Brilia is that it enhances clarity, it reduces things like stress, irritability, anxiety, impulsivity, restlessness, all the lovelies that come with autism and ADHD, right? But it actually it helps improve concentration. And for me, it's helped me improve my focus. And I have a lot of issues trying to focus on my work and do things. But when I'm taking this, I take the two tablets four times a day, every day. And it took about three weeks for it to really kick in. But it's absolutely amazing. Now, if, even if you stop taking this, there's no harmful side effects. This is the beauty of this type of medication. Now, if you are thinking about trying a new medication, always consult with your doctor. But if you want to try Brilliant, which I highly recommend, check out the link in the description down below and use my code ASPE15 for 15% off right now. I swear you're going to love it. Okay, guys, on with the video. Okay, so number five is a no-brainer, but people do not do it. And it's seeking support and advice from family and friends when you need it. This could actually be seeking support from a therapist. The thing is, we go through life so much uh, where we want to just do it on our own. You know, we're, we're, we're all right, Jack. We're okay. But then it gets to a point where it's like, it's not okay. And we're, we're at a tipping point. The glass is full and we're about to overflow. And it's emotional nightmare. And that's where an overload kind of just comes, wow, nowhere. If you feel that you're getting triggered and you're getting emotionally kind of burnt out quite often, what you need to do is step back and go, okay, what can I do to help improve that situation? And how you do that is you say, oh, okay, uh, maybe I'm feeling a little bit angry or I've got triggered by this this morning. Maybe I should speak to my therapist. I'll book a counseling session. I'll talk to my friend about it. That debrief, a problem shared is a problem halved, couldn't get any truer. That is exactly how it is. And I definitely beg for you to definitely try this out. And don't forget that seeking support definitely helps. If you have anything to add, pop it in a comment down below. I'd love for to read every single comment you give me. And also, if this video is helpful for somebody, please share it on Facebook and Twitter. I love you guys. See you in the next one. Peace. Hey guys, thank you so much for checking out this podcast. Make sure you are subscribed because there are people listening right now who are not subscribed to this podcast. I can see you. Make sure you subscribe. Okay, guys, see you in the next one. Peace.